Hey there, everybody. I uh, just thought I'd um, show you all what I'm working on. I got a MacBook Pro um, taken apart, and um, I've been having problems with um, the the whole thing, actually. So I decided to take it apart, and I had a problem with uh, the keyboard connector. So I just wanted to show you, for people trying to... Um, replace their keyboards on their MacBooks or trying to do any cleaning on their MacBooks and um, having problems I just wanted to show people what uh, the issue was where I couldn't uh, take the keyboard out because this this little connector is so fragile and it's hard to work with so I just want to show people the connectors on the MacBooks and how they work and uh, how to fix them um, I mean how to uh, what do you call it to undo them and then put them back together when they're once you're ready to put the uh, connector back into the socket um, the cable I mean sorry the cable back into the socket so uh, I'm gonna use my handy dandy microscope camera for that to show people how to do that and uh, just to show people where um, what I'm talking about exactly anyway let's go to the microscope Okay, now you're looking at my microscope. You're looking through my microscope camera. Um, this is the back of the MacBook Pro taken off. And uh, I'm going to zoom in here. And I'll show you these two cables that I'm talking about. Okay, there are the two cables. And. Sorry guys, I gotta grab a tool here. Sorry if it's shaky. Alright. So. Oh. Hold on guys. Alright. Alright, so the way this works is this little uh, cable, if I can grab it, goes into that connector like so. And you simply wiggle it in there until you feel it's in there. And then there's a little thing see this thing on the bottom here I'm gonna put my tool there and show you how that works it's a little hinge and that hinge that hinge is shut Oops. let me see if I can better focus this it's making it worse there we go So this hinge closes I think this is closed. Yeah, that's closed. That's right. It goes that way. So you get your tool and you hear it snap when it's down and then if you need to take the cable out you have to reach under there and pry it up and then you'll hear it snap again and that's about as far as it goes if you go further than that you're breaking it I already broke this one so I don't wanna break another one and this would be a good way to try to repair it now if I'm gonna try that I don't know I broke one of the legs off uh, once you do that you know it's really hard to uh, to fix that. But anyways, um, so yeah, this is easily done here. Okay, so that is connected. Now I've been having problems with this. Uh, whenever this is connected, this ribbon cable, it doesn't. I can see this is not fully connected here. But um, whenever it is fully connected, it doesn't um, 
the computer does not turn on. So there is a short in some of these uh, um, connections, not here, but uh, on the actual physical keyboard, there's a short on the circuit board of the keyboard. So um, I'm just going to take this off and um, pulls out right like that. So everything looks good. I mean, uh, the only problem, like I said, is the uh, the shorting deal. So yeah. Other than that, it looks good. So that is the end of my video, and I'm just looking at the other side of this. And it looks okay. So that's it. That's how you do that little daily bopper. You take the, you take it off by lifting that little bar, and you um, you lower the bar to um, once you have the cable slid in there. I've seen things like this on laptops before, but I just I haven't look, worked on a laptop in a long time. So um, it's kind of new to me again, I guess. So yeah, that's uh, if if I come across my old video, then I know how to do this once again. Nice little gypsies in here. Very small parts, pieces, little little tiny stuff. Oh my God, crazy. All right. So hopefully I can fix my friend's MacBook and um, see how this goes. Alright, that's it.